Well, guys, I screwed up. I've been having a rough morning. I got scammed pretty bad. I knew it was too good to be true. I was just hoping, I guess. I knew something was fishy. But it just, it's just not going to work out. And I'm... I try to be as honest as I can possibly be, so... I, of course, I've done the right thing. But let me tell you what I've done or, and what's happened. So what it is, is... I put an ad on Marketplace last night. I had a little dirt bike sitting around here. The kids wasn't riding anymore. And actually, my nine-year-old was actually kind of afraid of it because it wears up. It's kind of uncontrollable. I can ride it fine, but he he, he said sell it, so... I put it on Marketplace for sale. And this guy that owns this car right here, or I thought he owned it, he messaged me. He said, hey, have you got anything else you could put in with that dark bike and trade for a Nissan Juke? I thought, huh, that's kind of strange, but okay. So I said, well, I got another little dirt bike that my son grew out of. And I got a little Razor that they don't ride anymore. It's, you know, it's not the great old big razor. It's a smaller one, you know, just a little two-seater one. And he's like, yeah, that's cool. Let's do it. Let's try that. He said, the catch on this car was, is he didn't actually have the title to it. He said, title was lost. He didn't have the title. He said, but he didn't think it'd be no problem getting a title for it. So, um, he actually, I said, I don't really want to trade if it doesn't have a title. And then he sent me this thing. This looks like a, some kind of VIN checker thing. And it said, like, uh, no thefts reported, no, you know, accident report and stuff like that. And it didn't show anything. So I thought, you know what? Seems like it's a legit deal. I thought I can, you know, I can actually go through the process of filing for a title, you know, and try to get a title to it. And uh, then he tells me he doesn't have a title to it, but he bought it like that way. He bought it from a woman who claimed she didn't know where the title was that she had lost it and that she didn't want to go through the trouble of trying to file for a title and that she was moving and she didn't want she she couldn't take the car with her and she didn't have time to go to the clerk's office and get a title or whatever i thought okay well i can still go through the process and try to find her and fill out the appropriate forms you got to try to send her a letter in the mail you have to put an ad in the paper all this stuff you got to do and i've done it before and you know it's worked out before I thought, okay, I'll take a chance. So I, I traded with the guy. He got my box. He got the Razor. This little car, you know, it seems nice. It runs good and drives good. Code AC. Nice little car. It's got little bumps and bruises on it here and there. But it's, a, I thought, you know, pretty good little trade. So I called the county clerk's office this morning to get the ball rolling on paperwork. And guess what? It's got a lien on it. 100% has a lien on it. Guy got me. He got me good. And the, the clerk's office nowadays, they cannot tell you any information on, like, who owned the car before. They won't give you out the name, the address. They won't give you out the lien. They won't give you out nothing anymore. They used to. They won't anymore. So this morning, I was walking around this thing, and I seen the sticker on the back. 300 down, auto sales, Glasgow, Kentucky. Well, I called these people. And I told them the situation. And they said, yeah, that car belongs to us. Gave me the name of the woman that owned it and give me her phone number, which it doesn't work. And give me the name, number of the roommate that the woman had put down for a reference, I guess. I called her and she said, yeah, the woman that lived with me, she had a Nissan Juke. That woman has skipped town. She's no good. She's a real piece of work. So evidently the woman that bought this car from this car lot is, is not a very honest person. So she obviously either traded or sold off mortgaged property to this other guy. And then he traded it to me knowing that he didn't have no title. And then I probably wasn't going to be able to get no title. But the way he was talking, the way he was leading on, he knew that I was going to be able to get a title for it. He kept on and on and on. You know, I don't see why there's going to be a problem. I don't, you know, he's probably done already tried. He's probably done know this thing's mortgaged. He just didn't tell me. Well, he's got my stuff. I thought, well, I'm going to do the right thing. I went ahead and called the police. Got them out here to do a uh, police report. 
they went ahead and they did their thing. And I figured it would come back as, you know, stolen. I figured the car lot would have issued, you know, stolen or something. Nope, they haven't done that. So since they haven't reported stolen or missing or whatever, the law can't do nothing. All it is is a civil matter. I'm not going to be able to get my stuff back. Unless this guy just brings me my stuff back and gives it back to me, I'm not going to get it back. He's not going to do that. Because he has a car that's useless to him. Now he has a razor he can sell. He's got two bikes he can sell. I'm just out thousands of dollars, and I learned a valuable lesson to never trust anybody again. So it's my own fault. I shouldn't have done it. My Back of my head, I was, I was like, you know, this is too good to be true. Don't do this, and I did it anyway. I'm kicking myself in the butt. I just want to make sure you guys are aware of this, this scam that's going around. I mean, people are trading and selling mortgage property to people with no intentions of them ever getting a title or ever paying for the vehicles. They're taking stuff that is paid for, that does have titles. They're taking it, and they're on their merry way with it while you're sitting here stuck here with this. And I can't do nothing with it. So when I was on the phone with this car lot, I said, you know what? I've got your vehicle. The right thing to do is you just need to come get it. Uh, I don't want no part of it. It's your vehicle. It belongs to y'all. This woman still owed sixteen thousand dollars on this vehicle. This is a two thousand twelve. And they said she still owes sixteen thousand dollars on it. I wouldn't give sixteen thousand dollars for this car when it was brand spanking new. They probably don't even cost sixteen thousand dollars new. So I thought, you know, if she didn't owe a whole lot on it, maybe I could pay it off and keep it, but sixteen thousand dollars, I wouldn't give sixteen thousand dollars for five of these things. But oh well, lesson learned, I guess. It's just been one terrible day. I just, I can't win, y'all. I, I don't know what to do. I can't win. I don't know. I got to get back to work. I just wanted to share my little story of the day. Today's, what, August the 12th. I made this mistake last night, August the 11th. I give away my good stuff for junk. So, y'all need to be aware of this that's going on on the marketplace. Just try to look out for this. If it seems too good to be true, Chances are it is, guys. It's too good to be true. No one in their right mind is going to trade something that you can get in, run, and drive. The shiny, nice new tires. They're just not going to do it. If this had been a legit deal, if this car had been paid for, and the guy had just, you know, had actually lost the title, like he originally told me, it would have been no problem. I could have gotten a title for it. It's no big deal. I've done it before. It can be done. It's a long, drawn-out process, but it can be done. I was willing to go the mile... And get the title for this car, but now I can't. It is what it is. I got all kinds of Mustangs I need to get to work on. That bad boy right there is next in line. I need to get it done. I got some cars in the shop working on. We're going to get them done, get them out of the way. And that one right there. Fix it, pluck it, and put it in there. That's it, guys. I hope you can learn from my mistakes. I knew better. I know I'm going to get all kinds of stuff in the comments saying, oh, you should know better. Don't ever trade for nothing without a title. But, guys, I've bought vehicles without titles before. I thought I was a pretty good judge of character and good judge of a person, but evidently not. I must be slipping. Like these old cars, I can buy them all day long with just bills of sales and get titles for them. But stuff like this right here, you're really taking a gamble on it. If it had been business hours, I could have called the county clerk's office and I would have known, you know, like that. But it was after hours, y'all. I made a mistake. Till next time, guys. Well, guys, I'm currently at the Cannon County Sheriff's Department. The car lot from Glasgow, Kentucky. They picked up their car, the Duke. And I've been contacting this guy all day, trying to make him do the right thing, give me my stuff back, and he's been ignoring me all day. So I did the right thing, and I made a Facebook post. <laughs> and, uh... I basically called the, the police department down here. I said, look, this guy screwed me over. I'm going to get my stuff. And they're like, we don't advise you to do that. Come in here first. So uh, one of the uh, sheriff's deputies took my phone and uh, asked me. Well, at first he asked me, he said, can I see your phone and see all the messages back and forth? I said, well, sure. So he read every single one of them. He said, man, it looks like you were definitely done wrong. He said, uh, let's go get all your stuff back. But before... Before I got here, I'd been talking. The guy actually messaged me back. And he's like, I need you to take that post down. He said, you said you would take the car, take a chance on it. And 
I did say that, that I would take the car, take a chance on getting a title to it. I didn't say I would take the car, take a chance on getting a title on a car that had a lien against it. That's mortgage property. That's that's jail time. That's selling selling mortgage property is jail time. You can't do that, fellas. You just can't do that. If it would just have been a car that I couldn't get the title on that that wasn't owed on, it that'd been a different story. You know, we, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. But anyway, so the guy we've been going back and forth, and I told the guy, I said, I'd make a deal with you if you'll just give me one of my little bikes back, which was a little that little picture pro. That was my son's little bike. I said, if you'll just give me that one little bike back, I'll let you keep the other two. Because he says that he was done dirty too. He says that he bought the car from the lady, from a lady, that said, I need some money, I'm leaving, I can't take the car with me, I don't have time to go file for a title, blah, blah, blah. He says, I bought the car from her, and she told me they had liens on it, I could file for a title, so she's at fault. I said, well, since it sounds like you was done wrong, and I was done wrong, how about you give me one of my box back, I'll let you keep the two, and then at least you're not without nothing, and I'm not without nothing. So, we're going to see how it goes. I hope it goes okay. I'll keep you updated. I'm sitting right here at the show. Oh well. Well guys, I'm following the sheriff's deputy. We're on our way to this guy's house. I'm trying to do it the right way, the legit way. I don't want no hard feelings. I don't want nobody getting hurt. I just want some of my stuff back. At least something, give me something back. 